Hey, what's going on YouTube? I have three games today. Three games today. So, the first game on the list is Northwest State versus Texas A&M. And we have Texas Tech. And they're facing South Carolina State. And the third game on the list is going to be uh, Seton Hall versus Marquette. So, let's talk about the first game. Uh, Northwest State or Northwestern State. They actually did pretty good their last game against Baylor. Uh, I think they came within 10 points. They have low possessions and they're averaging more points per possession. Some of the things I look for. And as far as Texas A&M, I, I was trying to justify the 16 points for Texas A&M. I couldn't justify the 16 because they didn't fit my criteria. So I said, well, if they don't fit my criteria, then I might as well look the opposite side. And I checked out Northwestern State, and this is what I seen. And actually, moving forward, I'm going to be a little more serious. It's time to start making profits rather than doing a lot of testing and testing some things out that I was uh, doing. But other than that, uh, let's head down to the next game. So we have Texas Tech versus South Carolina State. So Texas Tech does meet my criteria to meet the 31 and a half. That number ticked up a little bit. So actually, to tell you the truth, I'm probably going to do maybe a teaser with this uh, Northwestern State and this Texas Tech game after we're done here. But Texas Tech, they have points per possession, which is extremely high. They have the possession that I'm looking for. They have the stats that I'm looking for. And they have the... I think they're getting a, it's a 53 percent uh, differential when it comes to stats as far as two points and three points and assist to turnover ratio also they have the defense that i'm looking for and you know i think that's uh very important those uh four factors so looking at that i do like texas tech with the 31 and a half uh northwestern state and last but not least seton hall versus marquette and now with this game, I'm obviously you don't see it up here, but with this game, I'm gonna bet this game live. Uh, Marquette, they actually average for probably like 12 as far as point margin is concerned. A game after they're done winning the game, that's the points that's left over is 12. So right now, they are getting the best of the number, but. Because these teams are extremely close and Seton Hall, as far as possessions is with Seton Hall, this game may be a little closer than anticipated. But I looked at uh, Marquette stats or their history and they only lost the game. The most they lost the game this year was by five points. So the closer I get a number to five points, the better and the higher my percentage on winning a bet goes up so that is going to be my strategy with this game it's going to live bet it wait until this is on so if i can get them within that five or plus points like two and a half then my winning percentage definitely goes up but that's all i have for today i appreciate you guys watching um like subscribe share and most importantly guys bet wisely bet wisely